Google influenced the nation with their creative bakes. Bake more memories with tried and trusted Royal Baking Powder. Previously on the Tastemaster SA, in the first elimination challenge, the bottom six contestants competed to create the ultimate Instagram-worthy bake. It was a double elimination as we waved goodbye to Shazia and Duke. Our top 10 finalists. Give yourselves a huge round of applause for making it this far. Look around you. Some of you are meeting each other today for the very first time. These are your competitors. Before we get going on the challenges, we do have a little something special for each of you. For making it to the top 10, you will each receive one of these. Nobile, please, will you take one and pass one on to each person? These are special pins that will allow you to call for a speciality ingredient not available in the pantry. But once you've played your pin, you lose it. So make sure you keep it for the right challenge. It fits so nicely and there's a lot of space for more. Now for the challenge. We thought it would be fitting for you guys to get to know each other a little bit better. So today, you will be competing in pairs. At the end of today's challenge, the bottom three pairs will be heading into the next elimination challenge. Samantha and Jay, you each won a pin in your previous challenges. We mentioned that these pins would come in handy. Well, today is the day. You will have the advantage of choosing a partner from the contestants in your first challenge group. Samantha, you will choose first. Have you decided who you're choosing? Let us know who it is. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go for Kyle. Jay, now it's your turn to tell us who you will be choosing. Uh, the person I've chosen is Megan. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Everyone else will be paired randomly. We have baked six cupcakes. Each cupcake has a different color frosting in the middle. The contestant with the matching color to yours will be your partner. So, first up, Sohail, please have your cupcake. Kinsani, please grab your cupcake. You know what, we'll just let fate decide. Whoever it is, we'll just have to make the best of it. Kinsani has purple. Oh! <laughs> no! Crazy. What are the chances? Oh my word, Kinsani and I share the same cupcake. I don't think it's gonna work between her and I. Now it's my turn. Mobile, your turn. We get the exact same colour too. What are the chances? But she looks like a great contestant, so I'm keen to work with her. No, this is like predestined okay, now. Okay, I'm going to need you to relax. Yeah, I need to relax. <laughs> oh, I need to relax. Wazi, Jason, obviously it's very clear you guys will be teammates today, but help yourself to a cupcake. I'm relieved actually, because <laughs> I know I'm not getting Katsani. <laughs> Today we will be focusing on one of the most important ingredients in all of baking. Your challenge is to bake our socks off with a chocolate creation. Chocolate is one of the most distinct and versatile ingredients to bake with. Today we want to be inspired by your creations. It needs to be a showstopper, a centerpiece. We want to see you play around with flavours. But it's not only Zola and I who you need to impress. Today's guest judge and masterclass instructor owns one of our country's top culinary schools. Born and bred in the KZN Midlands, Chef Jackie Cameron is a best-selling cookbook author with a passion for nurturing our next generation of top chefs at her Jackie Cameron School of Food and Wine. Welcome to my masterclass of my chocolate cake. Now over the years, this recipe has changed. We are always on the search for the best chocolate cake. Wow, Chef Jackie Cameron, she is a phenomenal chef. She is also from Durban. Nice to get in face. <laughs> the first step, you're gonna take three eggs 
Then I'm going to put the mixer machine on, on high speed and let it go for 10 minutes. You have to do it for 10 minutes. You need that aeration to really get the maximum lightness to the cake. 10 minutes later, and just look at this. Lovely, light, fluffy, exactly how I want it. Shoot, those eggs have so much volume. Like, I've never taken them that far before, so I think I'm definitely gonna try that. On to the next step. We're starting with the chocolate, and then we're going on to the moss. The moss brings everything together. It has that slight sourness to it, which really accentuates the flavor. And then we're gonna add the oil, then the vanilla seeds, and lastly, the cooled coffee. And then I'm just gonna whisk everything and combine it. Whisk it all well together. And then we're gonna add them to the eggs. Now onto the dry ingredients, the flour. Then we've got our sugar and the cocoa powder. Often people will just take the baking powder and kind of do that, it's completely uneven. You know, baking is a science. It's gotta be precise, it's gotta be exact. And this is not just with the baking powder, this is with everything. This is with your flour, your sugar, everything has got to be leveled off. That's something that a lot of people get wrong. Leveling the baking powder, you can't add a heap to spoon it. And accuracy is very important. Now we're going to be adding it to the egg mixture together with the oil. So the tip that I'm wanting to give you here is whisking it at the end for five minutes changes the end result completely. While the cake mixture is beating, we're gonna make the icing. This is kind of a ganache that we're gonna be making. We've got the chocolate, we've got the butter, and we've got the cream here. And then we're just gonna nuke it in the microwave for a minute just to melt everything. I'm looking for texture, I'm looking for voluptuousness. It must be sexy, this cake. So we're gonna let it cool a little bit and it's almost gonna go mousse-like. So now we're on to the best part, is the decorating. We're gonna start with this ganache. I'm just gonna take it and just really, just cover the top of the cake, but also allow it to drop over the side. I am obsessed with chocolate, so seeing the chocolate cake on the Masterclass, I'm watching it and I'm hoping they bring us a cake too to taste. <laughs> Here is my version of the most delicious chocolate cake. Welcome our guest judge, Jackie Cameron. Jackie is our guest judge and it's intimidating. She's been pretty intense about her technique and her precisions. I'm shaking in my boots just a little bit. Wow, it is just fantastic to be here. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to taste your chocolate masterpieces. But just before we kick off, let's eat some cake. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, cake time. That's my favorite time. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, oh, oh yes. 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 The cake looks really amazing. The icing, the center, the sponge. I'm going straight in for the macaron. It's got my name right on it. And honestly, I wish I could have a second. It was delicious. Mm. Oh, it's very chocolatey. She's obviously used dark cocoa, and that flavor is coming through very strong. So it, oh, delicious, absolutely incredible. My whole heart. Considering it's Jackie, I think that we need to just be on our game here today. We stick to our recipes and no monkeying around because um, eyes like a hawk, that one. Yeah. Jackie, absolutely mm. delicious. I'm so glad you enjoyed. <laughs> right, before you lot get baking, there's one more thing for us to announce. The winning pair from this week's challenge will win one of these. Ooh. <laughs> this is the chocolate mastery pin. Earning this will symbolize the winning of this challenge. But that's not all. Each member of the winning pair will walk away with a La Creuset casserole dish worth over three and a half thousand rand. Yes! Wow. <laughs> wow. Bro, you can get it. a pin, you can get Lucrezia pots. Yeah, I really want the pots. Huh. Yeah. We, we, we definitely have to with this one. Yeah, I, I think mean, we're going to have to put a show on a big show. Yeah. Next up, working in pairs for the first time, contestants get started on their chocolate creations. 
stand a chance of winning a weekly hamper from Le Creuset and be included into the draw for the grand prize of a Thermomix TM6 valued at 26,000 Rand. By creating your own bake with Royal Baking Powder and sharing your entry on the Tastemaster SA social media platforms. Entries close midnight on 5 December 2021. For further entry details and T's and C's, visit thetastemaster.co.za. Who will influence the nation with their creative bakes? Bake more memories with tried and trusted Royal Baking Powder. Are you ready to bake more memories? Yes! yes. Your three hours starts in... Three, three two, two, one... Get, get baking! baking. You right? Yeah. Kyle and Samantha. Hello. Busy, busy, busy. Yes, I noticed man. you took Oreos from the front. Those are mine. <laughs> what are you doing with them? Um, I'm actually just making a cookie base for a cheesecake. And then we are going to be doing a chocolate dome with a mousse, a parfait, and a compote. Compot. And we're adding a fun twist at the end. OK, well, you've got three hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today we're going to do a nature-themed, inspired, fine dining uh, dessert. We're going to do some cool chocolate elements, and it's going to look really cool on the plate. Our two most Instagrammable bakers. Hey. Hey. Yeah. You feeling confident after you know making it to the top of the elimination challenge? No, definitely. I uh, I was actually hoping I'd get this guy. Oh really? <laughs> hey, bakers on your side. <laughs> so what are you guys making for us today? I'm making a chocolate genoa sponge. Mm -hmm which I learned in the first master class. Mm -hmm. But as I do, I'll be giving it a twist okay. with a bit of mass while well, oh, there we go. Milk. So you also, no, oh, great, so, learning, yeah? Yes. I'm starting on the caramelized white chocolate mousse. Mm. Uh, we're also doing a hazelnut ice cream. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna do, for a bit of crumb, we're gonna do a hazelnut swirl. And then we're gonna have some mint and lime gel for a bit of acidity. You guys have given yourself a lot to do. You're making ice cream in three hours and all those components. We better get going. Yeah, yeah, you better get, we better get going to leave you to it. Good luck. Thank you. Yes, Megan, with the chocolate. Yes, yeah. Megan. Let's get these Oreos on. For our bake, we're going to do a decadent chocolate tart as the base, and I'm going to build up some profiteroles in the shape of a crock and bush, filled with chocolate orange pastry cream. I get my shoe pastry done first. I know that that's an essential element. Megan, what are you doing? I love a Thermomix, so oh, tell me. Me too. I'm doing an Oreo base for our chocolate tart. We both love chocolate as an ingredient, the two oh. of you. I, lo I love it. So it's a bit polarizing <laughs> for me. Oh. Yeah, I actually don't like sweet stuff. So, ah, so <laughs> <laughs> But my go-to is dark chocolate. Maybe okay. I can push a, up to 80%. Kind of, yeah. Maybe today you'll refine your love for all things chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Let's I hope. hope so. Let's hope. My first job was to get those cheesecakes going. And step one is get your cheesecake base done. I figured that we are not going to have enough time for a big cheesecake, so we figured why not do small individual ones. This might play out to our advantage. While I'm busy with my cheesecake base, this dude is frantically whisking and putting together this parfait, like stuff flying at me. Parfait is a frozen dessert, so it needs to go into the freezer. So I had to get my process going of whisking my eggs, whisking my sugar, adding in my fruits, my raspberries to flavor the parfait. What's the party without brandy, eh? Once again, Kyle brings the party to the challenge and we've got alcohol. Absolutely, but the thing is, I don't do it just for fun. It really adds depth of flavor. For the white chocolate mousse, we're gonna caramelize some white chocolate. We're gonna set it in the oven. What happens is it caramelizes the sugars in the white chocolate and it gives it a beautiful caramel flavor. Mm, something new, because I didn't know that. So mm. I also learned too. Today, we are making a showstopper. We are going to make a Krakenbusch sitting on a chocolate cake. What is going on here? So what I'm doing here is I'm making a chocolate and cardamom cream that I'm going to be making for my shoe pastry. And cardamom is your special ingredient, right? Yes. That you brought along. Yes. So it it's is your weapon. superpower. It's your weapon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we want one cohesive bake at the end. So make sure that you communicate and you bring it together in the end. 
Y'all need we to know watch what we're this. Doing. Yo. Watch the space. I'll be watching. I'll be watching. Good luck, guys. Looks good. Wow. Can you taste the cardamom? Slightly. Slightly. Yeah. So I'm currently busy making the chocolate cake because it has to go into the oven first because if it doesn't, we're not going to have enough cooling time for the chocolate cake. Contestants, one hour down, two to go. You are doing so well. I can't wait to see the final job. Ladies. Come on, Jani, Lana. Come on, guys. Good, good. What chocolate creation are you making? So we're going to make a brown butter brownie Ooh. and then mm. a chocolate caramel Bavarian cream to go over with a coffee ice cream. I brown my butter because it adds richness to the chocolate brownie. I use half brown sugar and half white because the brown sugar is going to add a different flavor and you don't want the brown sugar flavor to overpower the chocolate to so add half half. I get started on the coffee ice cream. You start with your custard base, get that to a boil, and then temper in the eggs. Once that's done, you infuse the coffee flavor. Adding glucose syrup is my tip. It makes the ice cream nice and silky and smooth, so when it churns, it doesn't crystallize. Samantha, Hello. Kyle. Hello. The fun that you left spun on. Uh, we were thinking <laughs> the final two. Yeah. Uh, Come on, let's be ambitious now. Okay? <laughs> I, like I like it. it. Thank you. Oh. I'm well done. Down. <laughs> it's not Wait just your face, it's your dick. Oh my God. Yeah, you laid it. Well done, Valence is obviously by all Kabunda where it is spun. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. <laughs> I'm making a really decadent white chocolate mousse. It's super silky. It's another challenge for me because it's something that needs to set before I pipe it into our chocolate mold. So another mixture that needs to go very quickly into the freezer. It's also that like fluffy, airy texture that we're gonna be pairing with our chocolate cheesecake. This cheesecake is rich, it's so smooth, and it's got some fresh raspberries in just to cut through some of that richness. And I'm going to pair it with a very tart, raspberry sauce, and that raspberry sauce hits you right there. Gentlemen. Yes, sir. A team name. Have you come up uh, with something? Came up with sweet nature. Oh. Sweet nature. <laughs> yeah. OK, seems fitting. <laughs> like it, guys. Thank Good you. luck. Nature's supposed to relax you, and our energy is aligned with nature, so yeah. we're doing quite well together. Our team name is King Shaga Baby. Wait, I thought, wait, 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 the king, sh wait, I thought it was just Shaga. Oh, Shaga, baby. Oh, because this team's yeah, really working yeah, well, well, isn't it? <laughs> we're like, okay, Zulu girls, where do we take this one? We're like, okay, Shaga. And we're like, King Shaga, we're like, no, but not king, we're queen. So we're like, okay, Shaga babies. And so we're like, okay, let's go with Shaga babies. <laughs> yeah. so it's the Lilo team, which translates to fire team. The fire, fire team. Yes. Oh, I like that, guys. <laughs> Such a fire. <laughs> I look over my left and I think the other team's doing a similar creation to ours. It looks very similar to what we're doing. I am quite bummed at this stage, but the challenge is on. It is on. Yeah, when there's two of the same dish, definitely serious pressure. So this here is a do or die. If this flops, it's cutthroat vice. Guys, Jay, my oven's off. This beautiful Samsung oven, beautiful space, just stunning, stunning, stunning. It would help if we left it on. <laughs> Somehow, between the two of us, we switched the oven off while it had the cake inside. Now we need to move, because the tart has to be cooled. So now I'm worried that we're not gonna have enough time. With the oven being off, the tart hasn't started baking, and I know that I need to start baking those shoe buns. They need to cool, we need to pipe them. <sighs> Things are starting to look bad, guys. Coming up, with time running out, will Jay and Megan save their bake from the brink of disaster? To get my chocolate mousse started, I'm melting tons of chocolate. We want this extra, extra chocolatey. Tana, do you have enough chocolate? Should I get you some more? <laughs> no. I'll right. call the truck to deliver some I more. I promise this is the last day. <laughs> I'm making the hazelnut praline because we are going with the hazelnut chocolate and coffee flavor combination today. 
Everything's going super well. As soon as we take the cake out, it's all that comes. Burnt, Loazi. It's burnt. Burnt. <laughs> I think you definitely re over mixed it, eh? And it just deflated. No pressure. I am disappointed. So right now I'm going back to my Devonshire sponge, which I trust very much. I know exactly how much royal baking powder to put in. This one's gonna come out perfect. There's a few things going wrong with our bakes today, but we're very calm under pressure and I think we're gonna bounce back. Chocolate smelted with my cream, with my eggs, combine all of that, my mousse is done, ready, chill it in the fridge. Contestants, you have one hour left to complete your chocolate creations. One hour left. Come on everybody, last stretch. Woo, baby, I can smell that chocolate. <laughs> It looks so good, Meg. Oh, I'm so excited. Megan and Jane. Hi, guys. How are you? Oh. Is it wild? <laughs> coming I together. Yo, this is hectic. Hey, is what did we say, Megan? We're getting into our mojo Yo, now. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. It was a, rough, a bit of a rough start. Yeah. But... So tell me, name for this dream team. Ours is an easy one. Ours is Jagan. <laughs> so nice together. Charlie, we've come up. Lekker, guys. The choux pastry and the chocolate cake is yeah. done. Yeah, and they look good. So how are your profiteroles? I am quite happy with them, okay. even though some of them are more flat than I anticipated. However, I do have quite a bit of high a ones, yeah. yes, which I'm going to fill. Just a little tip if you wanted to, if for those of them that you don't feel are as light, because some yes. of them are a little bit heavier. Yeah. So if you just pop a little hole in the bottom, mm -hmm. pop it back in the oven, cool. and then it will carry on drying out. So oh, you'll get cool. more of a crisp alterness, if yeah. you wanted to say yeah. that. Yeah. And okay. Awesome. Thank you. Sure, Jack. sure. All the best. I have this idea of making these piggies playing in mud. My two-year-old, she really enjoys watching Peppa Pig playing in muddy puddles. We're going to have a ganache on our cheesecake anyway, and we want to make this fun and entertaining. So let's make some piggies playing in mud. I love it. This <laughs> is totally... Are so quirky. <laughs> <laughs> this is totally up my street. I love the quirk. Did you temper that chocolate? I did, um, slightly. I did a quick tempering method okay. that I use. There's just a lot going on. Chocolate tempering while I'm trying to make little piggies. And yes, the piggies are going to be covered in mud, but not yet. So, like, keep it here, dude. Like, chocolate everywhere, and I'm trying to just have a good boundary. Ah, it was a lot. My first idea for garnishing is to make chocolate twills. We want to get this foresty look with the chocolate soil but it does not work out. As soon as we got the chocolate twig, when you pull it out at room temperature, it just melted. So yeah, that's what happens when you don't temper your chocolate. <laughs> oh, Loazi, we're just in time for your second sponge. Yes. Better this time. Way better. Can I see the bottom? Yes, you may. Much lighter and airier than the other one, hey? Yes. You're happy with this one? Very happy. Good. Jason, what I are you doing? I'm, uh, this is tempered chocolate. I'm going to make some uh, chocolate branches and then I'm going to make a chocolate log. Oh, okay. Lovely. I'm tempering some dark chocolate because it doesn't melt at room temperature and it gives it nice shine on the chocolate as well. Time's running out. We finally get the tart out of the oven. I switch it up, crank it up, but I know I don't have time for it to come to temperature. I start piping my shoe buns, put the cracklin on it, and I'm going to just bash them into the oven as quickly as possible. Mr. Hale? Yes. John. Why are you hiding? Why are you crouching down? You have an entire workstation. What's going on? This is my weapon of destruction. So, <laughs> this is a technique that I've learned uh -huh. instead of the traditional sugar syrup. I don't want to take a chance, but this is also a chance, okay. but <laughs> less of a fail here. I am seated on the floor, not to hide from anybody, but because I have more of a grip holding the cone and I am building the crook and bush with my secret method, I am building it from the bottom right to the top. Did you temper that chocolate? Because I think that that's going to be an important thing. So I haven't um, tempered the chocolate. Oh, risky. But remember, I did not temper my chocolate for the fruit challenge and I made the pineapple. Oh, so you're hoping for the same kind of luck? Yes, and okay. if it doesn't work out, I'm stuffing my face with ice cream tonight. <laughs> I'll join you. <laughs> Our crock and bush is ready and filled right to the brim. Now it goes in the fridge to set. Contestants, you are now in your final 30 minutes. I hope you've all started plating your chocolate creations. Last stretch, everybody, you can do Yay! it! We're making a mint and lime jelly just to give the dish a nice acidic flavor. Also to bring out a bit of color on the plate. I am going to unwrap the cardboard from the crock and bush 
If it's not set, the entire thing is going to collapse. Mm. If this thing collapses, it means our whole plan has failed. Megan and Jay, uh -huh. how are you doing? This <laughs> pizza's um, <laughs> been that's up the oven. Are you in a nervous moment now? Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Is, our, this is our cracks. I went now. They are getting there. Yeah. We, you will have <laughs> some kind of contraction. <laughs> And I'm peeling the cardboard off now. And it's perfect. Relief. A lot of relief. It's time to garnish. We are currently in a predicament. Mm. It was, yeah, gold for sure, but we have to put edible flowers. Why? For color. Because yeah. we can't leave it like that. Why oh, no, not? It's chocolate theme. Uh -uh. We can't leave it like that, it looks bad. We are not in agreement at all. You want what, flowers? Edible flowers. Edible flowers. I'm like, no, this needs to look a little bit classy. I still don't like the idea, but yeah, if you want them there. We've made a compromise. Yeah, we're going to splash the whole creation with gold and put raspberries all around. I've made peace with having no flowers on it. But it looks good, don't you agree? I agree. We're entering the final 15 minutes of today's challenge. Come on, guys, round it up. Finishing touches for our brownie. I make a quick chocolate twill, and then we want to add some gold leaf on it. Just make it look nice and more refined with the hidden hazelnut and the mousse. Just excited. <laughs> this is going to This is going to be fun. I think we might need to make a last minute mousse. Oh, it's not firm. It's not firm. It's yeah. not holding. Make it, you can make another one. My mousse comes out and it has not set. We only have a few minutes left until plating and I need to think of a plan B. Don't get that Let me try shake. and make another one. Yeah. Oh, cream. Uh. You whisk it. Jackie comes over to my station and she suggests that I whip some cream and then take some of the mousse that I did already make and then infuse that flavor into the fresh cream that I've just whipped. And I'm hoping I can save my mousse. This station is a mess. I think both our families would be so disappointed. But you, yeah, but you know what? I, I'm so determined. I've chosen Megan. I don't want to let it down. And we have to finish this. We have to. Chocolate log wasn't as I planned. I kind of wanted to pipe the mousse into the log. But now I'm just going to pipe it on top of the log. And we're going to add some mint jelly in there, as well as some chocolate sponge. Oh. I'm so glad he brought this with him because it's coming in handy right now. Oh my god, it's seized. I, I don't know what's going on then. I'm making ganache and it's a thing I do almost all the time. And I seized it. Three times. Like, what the hell? And if you just add a bit of hot water? And if hot water doesn't work, then you try cold water. Yeah, you see how it's coming. Amazing, thank you. Hot water, yo, and it will solve all your problems. Definitely going to be done. The mousse is looking way better than what it did initially, so I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> five minutes to go, everybody. You have five minutes to finish plating your chocolate creations. Let's go, team. Let's go, let's go. They, they seem good to me, love. How should we yeah, go for it? Yeah, they're getting colder. OK, let's do this. So we're currently just rushing against the clock to try and get as, as many on as possible. Our shoe bands are still a bit warm. The f mixture is going all over our hands. It is actually just manic and just chaos. When you're popping into a hot bun, that is just stress on another level. My hands are shaking. I can't yeah. think straight. Like, this ganache situation is really shaking me. But thank goodness for Kyle just keeping cool and calm. Like, if it wasn't for you, I would have been in a flat-out spin. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, everybody. Your time is up. Step away from your bakes. Well done, everybody. We did it! We did Jeez, it. Jeez, that was intense. Huge sigh of relief. <laughs> Every single element is on the plate. We really did well. It tastes great. Mm. We did this. Mm. We did the damn thing. Mm. Ooh.
It looks good. good. It looks good. This is not good. This is excellent, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Time's up. We turn back, we see a crock and bush. It's Christmas again. It's, Christmas. Oh. it's like massive. It's like almost 10 feet tall. Damn. They are bringing it today. I was impressed. Next, after three hours of baking, it's time for the judges to taste their chocolate creations. Who will influence the nation with their creative bakes? Bake more memories with tried and trusted Royal Baking Powder. Let's go. We are excited. Yeah, let's do this. this. Yeah. We're confident. Shaka babes! <laughs> <laughs> Just run us back, what did you make for us today? So today we made a chocolate bar. It is a chocolate brownie topped with hazelnut praline, some chocolate mousse and some chocolate cornets. And we paired it with some chocolate shortbread and some coffee ice cream. It's chocolate over chocolate over, over chocolate. chocolate. Yes. They can't fault it. I don't think so. And given that we made a brownie, when you think chocolate, you think brownie, and I think we're the only team that was going to do it the way we did it. That is elegant. Looks good. It looks super fudgy. Mm. I really want one. Mm. I love the combination of brownie, ice cream, and that secret hazelnut business that was under the shortbread and the ice cream. Mm. You get that that kind of warmth of chocolate coming on your palate. And um, I love that there's the different textures coming through, which interests my palate. I'm always very sensitive when people put a coffee component in because the balance has got to be quite right. And I think that gave this bake an edge today. I loved it. So um, I think according to the theme of the day, mm. I think it executed very well. Mm. Thank you. I think they're going to like a little play. Absolutely. I'm excited to present our hard work. We got it all done. <laughs> Looks beautiful, guys. We have ticked box one, visually appealing. In the sphere, it's a raspberry parfait. We've got a white chocolate mousse. Mm -hmm. There is also a cherry compote. And then the chocolate sphere itself is raspberry chocolate. And then the cheesecake is a coffee chocolate baked cheesecake mm -hmm. with a raspberry sauce and then some piggies having a good time in some chocolate ganache. And we are calling it pigs having a ball. Literally. <laughs> Pun intended. Yeah. OK, well done. I am very excited to taste it, so let's do that, shall we? Do you mind if I crack the sphere? Please very do. Good. Oh. Oopsie daisy. Doof. Nothing. Cool. Oh. <laughs> Fritz is smacking that, that dome. And the first hit is actually not working. And he smashes it again. I'm not impressed. Uh -uh. <laughs> thing was frozen. <laughs> it was frozen. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we left it in the freezer for like a couple of minutes too long, but um, it was a funny moment. Zola thought it was hilarious. She really laughed. There's no crack, but it's going to taste good. There are so many components to this bag, and they're all super enticing. It's practically not easy to eat, but um, that cheesecake base when I ate it, and the Cheesecake consistency for me is excellent. When I bit into one of those cherries mm. and it burst and I was like, yes! <laughs> so many beautiful components. Only criticism for me is that chocolate shell could have been thinner. But look how much you put on a plate. Well, well done. done. Thank goodness that's done. We did well, Sam. Yeah, we Very did. Very well. Nailed it. Judges. Mm. Our turn. Let's do this. Let's do it, man. Yeah. Please explain this very delicate, very interesting bike to us. We have a chocolate log, uh, some chocolate twigs. We have a caramelized white chocolate mousse. Um, the crumble is a whispers and roasted hazelnut soil. We have a roasted hazelnut ice cream, uh, some mint and lime gel, and some beautiful flowers. And salted caramel. And we also have a chocolate sponge. Lovely, I see the vision when you're talking about nature, the nuts, the herbs, I get it. Now I want to taste it. I think every element that you spoke about, I can individually taste. Um, for me, with the white chocolate, I'm looking for more dark chocolate coming through. Um, but there's not saying that there isn't enough chocolate on the plate. This 
but it just feels like you guys were seriously aligned mm. because I feel like this was almost made by one individual, mm. one vision. Uh, it is that balanced for me. Mm. Like I love all the components of the ice cream, which I also thought was delicious. Mm. And you pick up all these nuances that you guys strategically planned. Is it the most chocolatey chocolate mm. dish, you know, ever? Maybe not, but um, shoo, bar is high guys, mm. well done. This bake was a showstopper for sure. I think that that ice cream is sensational, but it is the hazelnut that comes through more. So yeah, for me, I wanted more chocolate, but my gosh, mm. stunning work. Thank Very you, High gentlemen. level. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hello. Wow. <laughs> we asked mm. for a showstopper, and boy, did you deliver. I am glad that the judges love the way our creation looks. At the bottom, it is a chocolate cake with a cardamom and milk chocolate cream with a chocolate ganache and it is chocolate shoe pastry that is filled with a white chocolate and cardamom cream brought together with dark coverture chocolate embellished with raspberries and splatters of gold. Ooh, mm. deep breath. Okay. Don't do that. <laughs> I see the cake, it's moist inside, it's dark, it's beautiful. Okay, maybe we did something right. Thank you. And I thought my cake was moist so well done i'm getting that that cardamom coming through and the textures the profiteroles and how you've done this um, this croquembouche is just you know with highlighting the chocolate um, and even the, the the shoe pastry with adding the chocolate into the the shoe buns um, it really has taken what the brief was to to the correct level so i just I don't want to be speaking, I just want to be carrying on eating. <laughs> I'm very thankful for the raspberries. Mm -hmm. Brings that mm -hmm. little bit of acidity, just gives you that go because it is absolutely decadent. decadent. Mm. I have to say to you, Suhail, that you impressed me with your profiteroles. Mm. I was skeptical about mm. the chocolate shoe buns because, you know, it's hard to tell when they're ready in the oven. Are they cooked enough? Are they crispy? Mm. Are they perfect? And you did it. You did it, and that cardamom hit yep. is just so warming with the chocolate, so a great combination. You guys should really be proud of yourselves. This is indeed a sensational chocolate showstopper. Well done. Thank you. We mm. love how it looks. The comments are very positive, and I'm thinking maybe, just maybe, we are safe for today. Looking at Jane Megan's tart, um, it looks really decadent, but there's profiteroles on top. It looks like charcoal bricks. <laughs> I don't know if that was planned or... No, that is straight up cold. We can definitely pray <laughs> on that. <laughs> Team Jagan, you experienced some hardship today. You experienced some setbacks today. A bit some, yeah. yeah. Do you feel you fully recovered from that? Um, no. <laughs> I'm honestly, we are just a bit disappointed because we wanted more on the plates. Um, we got all the elements on the plates, but it's just not a showstopper, but we put our heart and soul into it. Your resilience is so beautiful and the bond that you formed is even more beautiful. I am really looking forward to trying this. I love that you guys didn't give up even mm. to the last mm. second. So no matter what this even tastes like, you should be proud of yourselves mm. for that. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. But having said that, <laughs> tell us what it is. It's a salted chocolate tart with um, obviously our shoe pastry on top, with orange cream inside the shoe pastry and white chocolate ice cream. Look, I know our creation didn't come out as planned, but we have one more trick up our sleeves that we know is going to awaken the judges' senses. In the brief, it said we needed to use all our senses. We'll help you with our senses, so we just made a little bit of a concoction. <laughs> but do you want to spray it? <laughs> They're laughing about it. <laughs> it's just yeah, chocolate, just and, to it's just to chocolate and coffee. So you sprayed it in our mouth? No, no, no. <laughs> just for the senses. Oh, forgive me. Ooh. Yes, I'm getting it. Yeah. Nice touch. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can get it. Talk about chocolate decadence. That tart is the chocolatiest, is that even a word? Mm -hmm. Chocolatiest chocolate tart I have Chocolate. Ever. chocolate. On chocolate, <laughs> on chocolate. Absolutely delicious. So rich and decadent, but not too sweet. 
not too bitter. I think very well balanced, that tart. For me, it's a shame that your, your ice cream is a little bit grainy. I think that your white chocolate started splitting at some point. Um, the flavor is really lovely. Unfortunately, your profiteroles didn't turn out as well as you wanted. In some places, they're a little bit doughy. But the chocolatey flavor is so delicious. That mousse in the middle. Mm. And also on your chocolate tart, there's a bit of salt. And, and that's what I love. Mm. I love it when, when chocolate is bringing sweet and savory together. And I love the little vanilla beans. Tastes delicious. Coming up, find out which three pairs will be heading to the next Elimination Challenge. With a grand prize worth 90,000 Rand, including Samsung Home and Kitchen Appliances, a Thermomix TM6 to the value of 26,000 Rand, plus Le Creuset cookware and accessories to the value of 15,000 Rand, the stakes are high. Whose creation will tickle the judges' taste buds? Bake more memories with the Taste Master and Royal Baking Powder. Contestants, I want to congratulate each and every team for absolutely nailing this challenge. Well done today. Today, three teams will be going to the elimination challenge. Jason and Luazi, you blew us away today. The attention to detail, the flavor balance, well done today. Megan and Jay, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Well done, really, it was so delicious. Unfortunately, some technical details lacking. Jason Luazi, Beautiful, beautiful dessert today. Not chocolate enough for us. Jay and Megan, today a few technical details that disappointed you on the ice cream and the profiterole. And with the high level that we're experiencing here in this competition, unfortunately, both the teams will be entering the elimination channels. <laughs> Obviously disappointed. That was a hard bake, um, but it just wasn't our day. From the three remaining teams, one of you will be receiving today's pin. Jackie, please do the honors. To all of you, I just want to say congratulations. It's been just such an honor and pleasure being here today. And I can't wait to see how you grow along this journey. It has been so difficult deciding on who wins today. So the Royal Baking Powder chocolate mastery pin goes to Do -do -do -do. <laughs> to Suhail and Kensani. <laughs> the crooked bush. bush. No. Once you see a bush, it's with, like front page. With Christmas like again. Like you, you, you don't stand a chance. No. So I know that we're not going to get the pots. The pots are not ours. <laughs> Oh my word, we won this. Yes, we did it. What an excitement moment, what a surprise. I can't believe this. There was a bit of a battle with the Crock and Bushes today, but you know what, Suhail and Kensani, they smashed the challenge today and I'm so proud of them. Congratulations. And on top of it, each of you wins a La Cruzee casserole. Yeah. <laughs> I really wanted that pot. Mm. Damn it, Kyle. <laughs> but I mean, he's given ramekins as a runner-up prize. I would have taken ramekins oh, as a runner-up yeah, prize. Oh, well done, guys! <laughs> Congratulations again, Kensani and Suhail. Ngobile and Tando. Your brownie was absolutely delicious. It was chocolate perfection. We loved the way that you plated it. We loved all the elements. It was really, really delicious. You should be proud of yourselves for that bake. It's down to the last two teams and I'm shaking in my boots. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Yeah. Put me out of my misery, please. Kyle and Samantha, wow. What amazing showstopper quality. Every single detail 
was thought out and you guys managed to put so many elements on a plate and all of them were fantastic. Tando and Nobile. Unfortunately, you two will be joining the other teams in the elimination challenge. Congratulations, Kyle and Samantha. You are through. Between your two teams, it was truly Nick and Nick. The deciding factor was that one team just had a few more technical elements. They pushed the boundary just a little bit more. To the two top teams, you are safe for next week. Congratulations. To the bottom three teams, I hope you pack comfortable shoes. Next week, we're going into my territory. We're going outdoors. Next Friday on the Tastemaster SA, things heat up as the bottom six contestants travel to a famous wine estate to face the next elimination challenge. This time, it's all about mastering the open fire as Fritz puts them through their paces in the most intense challenge yet. Another feel-good production.